I'm Pia and you're watching Kini News. Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim has once again reiterated Malaysian stance on the conflict in Gaza and stressed that they would not bow to any pressure from the US. He also lashed out at a past leader over his comments on the matter. Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim said Malaysia will not recognize the US unilateral decision to impose sanctions against foreign entities that support Hamas and the Islamic Jihad movement in Palestine. Anwar told the Day One Rakyat this morning that such intimidation by the US would not impact Malaysia's stand on the issue of Palestine, including its relationship with Hamas. Kerajaan tidak mengiktiraf mana-mana keputusan mana-mana negara, termasuk Amerika Syarikat, yang mengenakan sekatan atau sanction secara unilateral. Kita hanya mengiktiraf keputusan Majlis Keselamatan Bangsa-bangsa bersatu yang dibuat apa yang disebut sebagai multilateral. He added that the government did not agree with how the US is imposing sanctions and it will not influence Malaysia's policy and decisions. He said this in response to Machang MP Wan Ahmad Faisal Wan Ahmad Kamal. In his response, Anwar also stressed that the government always supported Palestine and lashed out at the past ulama chief Ahmad Yahya for alleging that Putrajaya is being apologetic in its stand on the Palestinian cause. Anwar said this in reference to Ahmad's claim in an article published by Pars mouthpiece Harakat Daily yesterday. Dengar, eh? supaya jangan ketua dan ulama guna harakah mengkaitkan saya dengan Israel. Itu satu, satu kenyataan yang biadab, yang melanggar tata suistina. Fitnah yang guna serban, tidak sah. Dan saya bantah sekerah-kerahnya. Kalau diulang, saya akan ambil tindakan keras terhadap sesiapa yang menggunakan beri. Lim Guang Eng has challenged a past MP who claimed that he is related to Cheng Peng to show proof or face action. Lim Guan Eng has told PAS MP Siti Mastura Muhammad to show proof that he is related to Communist Party of Malaya CPM leader Ong Bun Hua, who is also known as Chin Peng, and to Singapore's first Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew, among others. In a press conference in Parliament today, Lim showed the part of Siti Mastura's speech where she made the claims and said that she has until November 9th to furnish the evidence or action will be taken. Lim stressed that it was slander and said he had no relations to the people being mentioned. Uh, ini adalah fitnah jahat terhadap saya, terhadap keluarga saya, terhadap isteri saya, terhadap pemimpin-pemimpin utama yang saya nak tegaskan di sini. Saya tak ada hubungan keluarga dengan Anthony Locke, tak ada hubungan keluarga dengan Teresa Kok. Isteri saya pun tak ada hubungan keluarga dengan Teresa Kok. Tak ada hubungan keluarga dengan Nga Koming, tak ada hubungan keluarga dengan Ngai Kuham. Dan juga yang paling penting sekali, tak ada hubungan keluarga langsung dengan Chin Peng dan Lee Kuan Yew. Lim added that it was not just a personal attack but has racial undertones as well. He said it is another example of the politics of extremism and slander by PAS, adding that PAS leaders continue to raise such matters despite knowing them to be untrue. He added that it is not the first time PAS has linked DAP leaders to communists. Siti Mastura had made the claims during a recent past program in Terengganu. When asked for comments in Parliament today, she attempted to evade reporters and told them to watch the video until the end. A PNMP has questioned why remarks by PKR leaders on the party's membership status in Liberal International are not consistent. This came after Anwar explained the issue in the Dewan Raya today. Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim told the Dewan Rakyat today that PKR has officially severed ties with Liberal International over the global organization's stand to support Israel in the ongoing attacks on Palestinians in Gaza. Anwar, who is also a PKR president, said the matter was discussed in the party's recent political bureau meeting. He added that PKR was never a full member of LI but instead held an associate status due to several key issues. Kita tidak pernah menjadi anggota. Kita jadi pada peringkat awal associate. Tetapi oleh kerana ada beberapa keputusan mereka, termasuk mengiktiraf LGBT dan pendirian Israel, kita tidak menjadi ahli. Saya, saya harap jangan dipolitikkan. 
At a press conference later, Machang MP Wan Ahmad Faisal Wan Ahmad Kamal alleged that the leaders of PKR lied about the party's membership status with Liberal International. He claimed that Anwar's explanation was inconsistent with alleged statements made by his daughter Nurul Iza in 2016, describing PKR as a member of LI. He questioned why they were not consistent in their statements and added that they should be like Gerakan. Baik jadi macam gerakan Gerakan mengaku dia sebagai daripada LI Tapi dia tak setuju Dengan pendirian LI Liberal International tentang Israel Tak adalah gerakan nak spin dan berbohong Kepada rakyat Malaysia On Sunday, Fami, who is also a PKR Information Chief, reiterated that the party had never been a member of LI and it had removed the party's name and logo from its website. Fami later said that PKR will consider taking legal action against parties linking it to LI. On October 7th, LI's International Bureau had expressed solidarity with the Israelis and recognised their rights to self-defence. Donate to Kini TV to show your support and help us sustain as an independent online news portal that delivers breaking news. Do support us. Your contribution matters. Meanwhile, Anwar has revealed that the government has decided to not boycott the APAC meeting later this month. Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim announced today that he will be attending the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation APEC Economic Leaders Week 2023 in San Francisco, United States. This is despite pressure for him to boycott the event. Anwar said the decision to participate in the conference was made to protect the country's interests in terms of diplomatic relations, security and economy. He added that ASEAN leaders and other APEC member states will also be attending. Anwar said he understood that the decision will not please all parties and stressed that it will not change Malaysia's position in defending justice and the struggle of the Palestinian people. Anwar explained that the priority is to maintain diplomatic relations and peace. He said as the Prime Minister, he wants to look after the interests of the country, its security, economy and happiness. APEC is a regional economic forum established in 1989 to leverage the growing interdependence of the Asia-Pacific. This year's meeting will convene in San Francisco, California from November 11th to 17th. Previously, PN's Machang MP Wan Ahmad Faisal Wan Ahmad Kamal had suggested that the government boycott the 21-country economic forum as a sign of solidarity with Palestinians as well as in protest of the US support of Israel. The names of Felda chairperson Ahmad Shah Berichik and a yet-to-be-named religious figure in Terengganu are among those tipped as possible BN candidates for the Kamaman by election. Former Minister Ahmad Shabri Chik is said to be the first choice to be nominated by BN as the Kemaman by election candidate. According to BN sources, Shabri, who served as Kemaman MP from 2004 to 2018, would boost BN's chances of reclaiming the seat. However, source said Shabri has rejected the proposal. The source added that BN also has several other names, including young leaders, to consider. On November 5th, former Terengganu Menteri Besar Ahmad Said announced that he would not contest in the Kemaman by election this December. In the last general election, GE15, Ahmad lost to the Perikatan Nasional candidate J. Alias Hamid, who won with a majority of 27,179 votes. However, Terengganu Election Court annulled the victory of Che Alias on September 26 after the petitioner, Wan Muhammad Hisham Wan Abdul Jalil, succeeded in proving that corruption had taken place for the purpose of influencing voters in GE15. Commenting further, sources said another name linked to the candidacy was the head of an Islamic study centre in Terengganu. They are keeping mum on his identity for now because negotiations are ongoing and he's an influential person. The leadership of AMNO and BN are expected to finalise the name of the candidate to compete in Kemaman on Thursday. The Election Commission has set polling day for December 2nd with nomination day on November 18th, while early voting is on November 28th. Opposition assembly persons in Penang will not get an increase in the allocations granted to them. This is according to the state chief minister. 
Penang Chief Minister Chao Kon Yao has announced that there will not be an increase in allocation for the opposition assembly persons in the state next year. He told reporters in Georgetown that the opposition lawmakers will continue getting the 60,000 ringgit allocation a year, while their government counterpart will receive 500,000 ringgit, which is the current practice. Chao was responding to reporters who asked if the opposition will get more funding from Budget 2024. Last month in Parliament, a DAP MP had called for opposition lawmakers to be given equal allocations to manage their constituencies. Bukit Bintang MP Fong Kui Lun said opposition MPs must not be made to beg for more as he recounted how he and his colleagues struggled to serve their constituents while being in the opposition. And that is all from me today. For more stories, you can go to kinitv.com. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube and Facebook for the latest news update. If you like to support independent media, do consider subscribing to malaysiakini.com. I'm Pia. Thanks for watching.